What's up guys, Freddy Fishfinger here and I'm bringing you replays on two battles that I've done and ultimately this is going to show you that in a tier as, you know, centralized and as focused as OU, something like Marker can be unbelievably good and the way this came about was kind of unexpected. I, I started building the team and I went, look, I want to go Sticky Web. Sticky Web's were really good, and that's why you can see things that I've got, like Blastoise and Heatran, which I have um, very offensive variants on. Granted, Blastoise has Rapid Spin, but, you know, the, the, it's, it, the rest of its moveset is like Ice Beam, Water Pulse, and, oh jeez, he's testing me here, Aura Sphere. But then the, the team didn't start like this. It started with Galvantula instead of Levani, and it started with Landorus instead of the Duck Trio, and it started with something else instead of the Marker. I think it, it was Chestnut, and then after Chestnut, I tried Balloon, but it didn't quite work. The team was a little bit exploitable. It had a couple of problems, so I, I tweaked it around, and I went, okay, look, I really want to do Sticky Webs. The team works with Sticky Webs, so what other users do I have? Because Galvantula just doesn't do the damage that you need it to do in this tier. So I ended up going, okay, let's try something else that's a bit of more of a utility like Levani. And when I threw Levani in there, I ended up going, okay, now I need something to be able to help me trap Heatran. So I ended up putting in the Duck Trio. And then I needed a physical attacker, but also the team would have benefited from something with a bit more of a nuisance. So I went, okay, what has foul play? What's immune to Earthquake? And what can cause some problems? And I was left with a couple of options, but for whatever reason, I really wanted to see if I could make Marco work. And as you can see here, bang, it works. And that's just amazing to me. And that's why I'm making this video, because Marco really should not work this way. But as you can see there, it takes down a Mega Metagross. Now, granted, this battle will show the Marco actually getting beaten. But I have another replay, which you'll see after this battle. And it just does so unbelievably well. And it's kind of crazy to me, because... I've used Marco in VGC in the past, not VGC 15 so much, because VGC 15 is just stupid, but VGC 14 and 13, I tried it out, and it was definitely a lot better than it should have been there as well, but I was never really sold on, yes, I will use this, because you, if you don't have the right set for the team that you're using, it doesn't quite work, but here... Toxic, T-Wave, Foul Play, and Roost, and there is no problems with what I want to do with this Marco. It just seems to work, and as you'll be able to see from the rest of the battle here, an offensive Heatran and the Blastoise just really benefit from Marco just causing problems to the rest of the team. You know, you get rid of the bigger couple threats, and then the rest of your team just is able to rip through opponents. As you can see here, he's left with a Clefable, but Clefable can't do anything to Heatran. I mean, if, you, if you've played competitive enough, we all know that's true. And so now we'll get to go to the next battle. Bang, oh, look at the smooth transitions. And so as you can see here, my opponent's running a you know, somewhat of an offensive, somewhat of a utility-based team, wall breaker, you know, Mega Lopunny for physical attack, um, you know, turn in, out, and Landorus, uh, Jirachi, I wasn't able to figure out what kind of set he was, but it looked a little bit more offensive, and then Rotom and Chancery's bulk. Now, as you've probably seen in the couple of snippets that were right there, this team's slightly different, because I tried area dose with this team. Um, because I wasn't quite sure, um, I made him and gave me the idea, hey, what about running Ariados? And Ariados is also quite good for this team. Ultimately, it comes down to, do you want to knock off user because Chansey's a real pain in the ass to kill? Or do you want to instead have an, um, have something which causes a bit more problems with Toxic Spikes? That way you can have Toxic Spikes, Sticky Web and you can have Stealth Rock. And so it's kind of this, um, ah, like, it, it's, it's really difficult to pick, but as you can see here, if my opponent didn't play badly with the Chansey, I wouldn't have been able to kill it. So this is, this is the debate that I have at the moment. The team is quite sound, it just lacks being able to do both. Ultimately, because of the fact that I need to be able to kill Chansey as opposed to wanting to have all of the hazards up, I think that the better option is leave Annie, but at the same time, you could go either way. If you found, if you find the space for it, you can probably run knockoff on Marco, but T-Wave, Toxic, uh, Foul Play, and Rooster are really, really good for it to have, so I don't know, but as you can see here, Marco's in, Landorus didn't kill it, 
So that means Micro can just cause more problems. Roost up on the swap. Uh, won't die to the Iron Head. Thankfully, no flinch. If I do get flinched, I roost back up. I go for foul play. Jirachi's dead. And then he just has problems because I was able to live a Vault Switch and just, you know, from there he has, what, four things left. We already know that I'm in the lead from that point. I cause problems to the Lopunny and the um, Curum. And I've already uh, provided Toxic to the Rotom Wash and the Landorus. And I've got all my hazards up. It, it's really just prepping through. So... I wanted to show you guys this because I want people to have fun with Macro in the OU tier because it will shock everybody. Like it won't, it shouldn't work, but it does. So feel free to use the teams if you want. Pick which one because I've got two different choices there. Um, leave likes if you did enjoy, and hopefully I'll bring more content like this in the future. Freddy Fishfinger out.